what's going on guys i got let's see verizon on spectrum there t-mobile which i need to pull up band uh service mode thing we got at&t over here let me fix t-mobile real quick anyway we're down here we actually been here before done testing um this is Tri-County Mall, uh, not Tri-County Mall, I mean Cincinnati Mall. Tri-County Mall is back that way. You can see, last time I tested, I was all the way down there by that semi, um, which was, you know, weeks ago. It wasn't like, you know, I did it yesterday or something. But um, we're back down here and we're testing Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. So, show you some of the things we got here. So, T-Mobile, let me scroll up here, has 100 megahertz with the additional 40. We have pretty much 140 megahertz all around here. I did get a gig yesterday. I got 1,003. I've been driving around the parking lot trying to replicate it. Cannot get it. Verizon, you know when we came down here last time, Verizon wasn't doing in 77. I mean, they were, but it wouldn't connect. Now it's connected, so we got 60 megahertz of that. Now let's see, Verizon, we got 66, 10 megahertz. Anything else? 220. Band 220 megahertz is what I'm saying. And I guess that's it. So... This time we got 165 down, 24.3 up with a 41 ping and 9 jitter. D-Mobile is obviously doing the best here. Sorry about the lines on the screen. That's the refresh rate of the screen. I just can't help that. I don't expect us to get a gig, but we should at least get 800 because that's what we've been getting. A75. We're getting close, but tested time after time and I can't get it. I got like a thousand down, like a hundred up the other day. But today we got A75 down, 65.7 up, 22 ping, 2 jitter. I guess um, it doesn't show the additional. So I guess it's just 140 with, I don't know, probably, oh. LTE 41 with band 41. Huh. Never seen that aggregated. Well, anyway, here's AT&T on the iPhone 14 Pro. Oh, and the Verizon is the A53 5G, and then, of course, T-Mobile's on my S22. So, we got 43 ping over here on AT&T, 25 jitter. Speeds are good, 376. I don't have any. Well, I do have my A52 5G that I could have brought to test 5G Plus, but it's pretty similar. Only got, might as well be 18 on the up. Well, that's not bad, but obviously T-Mobile's over here doing the good spectrum. 140 megahertz is really good down here. Not to say that's bad by me, but I've never seen a gig talk came down here the other day. Never. You know, the most I get by me is maybe 800. 890 on that one. I know one tower by me that could maybe do a gig if you got in the right spot at the right time and the right conditions, but the most I've ever got out of that tower is probably what I got here. 890 down, 68.6 up, 23 ping, 2 jitter. Pretty much same as last time. They're consistent. I'll say that. Let's zoom back out. I did try testing, which what is what I'm recording on the iPhone 13 Pro. Um, you know, I tried using the iPhone to see if it would pick up ultra white band that hasn't before I started recording. Maybe it has now. I don't know. 
anyway this time Verizon got 152 23 ping 5 jitter and looks like 26 on the up it's not bad at t you know that 5G plus is getting really good I've seen it a lot of places do like this and I know in the past that I've been using the iPhone SE which I have with me and uh, given a little bit of an unfair opinion to at and 5G plus because it only does 2x2 two two instead of 4x4 four four. I mean I'm sure it's improved since I've done all these previous tests but 405 down 16.8 up 51 jitter or 15 ping or I'm sorry 51 jit ping I'm sorry can't and 15 jitter okay there we go I guess while I have it we could test the iPhone SE 2022 it did pick up 5G plus but you can see speeds are noticeably different. These are both deprioritized plans. This one's on value plus. That one's on unlimited starter. Um, but you know, you're working with 2x2 two two and 4x4. Four four. That's why I want to test at and 5G plus now. With the iPhone 14 Pro. Instead of the iPhone SE. Not that the iPhone SE is bad. But I want to see what is actually available because you know four by four you know gives you more spectrum per se you know you get faster speeds sometimes you get better pings sometimes not it just depends so we got 39 ping 20 jitter 231 down and 33 on the up see this is what i don't get which i'm gonna mention real quick I don't want the video to be too, too long. The iPhone SE with the 2x2 two two usually gets better speeds than the 4x4 four four in the upload. And I don't understand that. But download's better. And I mean, that's kind of what is more important to most people. So, yeah. That's that. But I'll see you guys in the next one.